Hello, let's complete the tagging of the CD that we started in the previous video on the data sources. We're going to use this video to show some of the tools we have to do the job. However, you don't have to do all this. If you're happy with the quality of metadata from Amazon or FreeDB, just leave them as such. However, in most cases, uh, they are far from ideal if you want to have a good classification for classical music library. So let's proceed with the tagging. When you want to edit a record, a track, it has to be selected because on a compilation you might have only three records you want to work on. In this case we're going to start with the entire CD. To speed it up you can also press here select all which will highlight the entire grid. Then you say right click manual edit or control I or menu edit. Now the album is correct however it's missing the performers because you might have many records on complete string quartet by Beethoven I know a few already so it's a good idea to add the performer and it's the CD3 so you can do that and because it's a box set maybe you want to use the grouping field to group them all together when you want to select them next let's remove the album artist Beethoven because that's the composer and maybe here we want to add as a genre chamber music a quartet string quartet as instruments we can put string orchestra or just strings and we're done let's save the epoch or style will be filled up when we deal with the composer the Musici Suite has a unique tool which we call Musici Clean which is a reference database which allows you to clean and normalize classical music data such as composer, performers and composition so let's use it we have highlighted the records go to Musici Clean or you can press Ctrl M and you have the three fields you can work on in this case let's put Composer and Album Artist and you will see that Composer will be normalized and this style will be found as well the, comp the performers performer didn't change because he was correct in the first place but now Beethoven is written the way it should be with his birth date and also the period was found as well which is the classical era it could be baroque romantic depending on the composers now artist here is inaccurate and not very useful in classical music we found it's better to put the composer field there so we have another feature which is called copy composer into artist and if you do that for all tracks it will be filled up the last field we have to complete is the composition field so let's make more space on the screen by using the open close panel which will collapse the right and left panels now as you can notice in the composition which have movements the movement and the composition text is separated by semicolon so we can highlight them and use another tool which is control T or text processing and we can say from the field name as a source to the target name composition separated by semicolon copy and move and as you can see the proposed change will be shown here nothing will be edited until you press proceed and with the pro original text and proposed change you can see what you're going to do this is a very very powerful text processing uh, you have the same in the tagger and you can do regular expression search and replace swap contents it's a very powerful little unit but you have to play with it it's it's like in a word processor so press proceed and as you can see the composition has been filled up for the track which doesn't have any movement we can just select it right click edit composition field copy title to composition or if you know the shortcut just press ctrl q 
and it will copy the content of the name to the composition field. In the Music Clean reference tool, we have also the composition for Beethoven, Mozart, Bach, and Vivaldi, and we will keep adding composers as time goes. So we can use this tool to normalize these entries. Music Clean, and then we use composition. And we have what we have in our database. You can change the settings here, settings Music Clean. You can move the order of the fields, tweak the catalog, the opus, the rank. So it's so you have complete flexibility on how you're going to see the composition field done. Maybe in this case I don't want to show the instruments here for the ghost fig and I can edit it and remove the instruments here. Now just complete the composition. You want to put the composer there because you might have in symphony number no. 5 for example you know many composers have written symphony number no. 5 so you want to differentiate it so here we highlight all the thing right click edit composition field and say add composer or control B and it will put Beethoven in front and in the same way at the end you want to add the performers as well because you might have the string quartet number no. 12 done by many different groups so we highlight them again edit composition field add performers this time which is control n you can edit it here let's say i don't want le i just want quarter tallets and it will be copied at the end we have all the metadata done properly the instruments the composer etc and then we can go through reaping and we have seen that in previous part now the hard part is done this video gave a complete tour on all the little tools you have at your disposal to speed up the tagging of a classical music CD. Again, you don't have to do all these things, but if you want to have a perfect classical music library, you have all the tools you need. And now you can proceed to rip the CD and all the metadata will be copied. This concludes our series on ripping. By now, if you have watched all this video, you became a CD ripper expert. I hope you enjoyed them. Thank you very much.